Uh, well, looks like we've got about, got here about 20 minutes too late. There they go. You can see them just above that great tree there in the middle of the frame. Never got to cut them off and they'll be heading up to the top of the ridge, which I'll, I'll be up top uh, in a couple of hours. So. I couldn't cut, cut them off in time, they're on a ridge behind me, but I've taken notice of the black, uh, little black one with a white patch, it's got a white patch in the middle, so I'm going to head up that ridge anyway, and I should be up there in about two hours, so if I see that mob again, I'll be able to recognise it from him. But uh, we're off to a good start, Christian's way over there uh, on another stalk, I'm up here on my own, so it's all good. Today. I've been very happy actually, it's been a really good day. Uh, I've been using my, you've probably seen some of the video anyway, I've been using my self made uh, Osage bow um, and my own obsidian uh, napped uh, traditional arrows. But uh, I got a shot away, it has been captured on the GoPro. Uh, it wasn't the best hit, to me it's hard to tell, I have to rewatch it, but it looked uh, high shoulder, uh, stood up between the shoulder and the base of the neck, uh, and I could hear the sound as the arrow hit. Um, you know, there was no immediate pass through or anything. If, if I'd have hit the engine room, it would have been, um, you know, a completely different sound. So, unfortunately, I couldn't follow him up. I never found him. Um, I ended up spotting some more, which were um, hiding under, or, you know, I should say, not hiding, um, just bedding down under a tree out of the shade. But uh, by the time they must have winded me because I did the semicircle, got there, and they'd vanished. So, today's been a bit weird this afternoon. They've been just disappearing from where they normally are um, and even where I am now sitting uh, I'll move this sit at the top of this massive valley um, there's nothing coming out so it's getting a bit boring sitting here waiting so I'll, I'll head back down to the river and uh, call it a day I think I'm gonna try and make it back to camp down there bloody cliff faces and a bit hairy because every now and then some of these rocks slide when you stand it on Yep. 
Jeez, I should be able to knock them. Have a look at that. So you can see here, here, just like a core, a flake has come off right there. It's naturally, uh, naturally flaking off. This is very good basalt. These hills for you know over over 15 years. I've never seen in in summer a water hole in any of the dry water courses. I've just fired one. I've you know never done this this route before back to to camp and uh, been coming down here. And this, this water hole behind me is absolutely amazing. It's full of uh, tadpoles, full of frogs, and there's a bit of a waterfall. I think this is picking it up. That'd be a waterfall uh, in high runoff. But um, this is literally a lifesaver. I'm actually going to get my uh, uh, filter out, uh, fill up more water bottles, so I'm down to about half a water bottle, so this is <laughs> unbelievable. Well, I'm down near the river now, and this is pretty steep gorge country. I've come to a cliff, so I've got to backtrack. Uh, I'll head over that way. Seems a little bit steeper there, and head back down into the water course. So I've come to this, um, this waterfall here, and a bit of a drop. Uh, it doesn't probably show on near here. It'll, it'll be quite wide. You won't be able to see how steep the, the drop is, but it's, uh, I'll kill myself if I go down there. So I'll come back this way. I'm seeing more and more water holes actually. Uh, obviously the closer I get to the river, there's going to be more and more, but that other one was amazing that I found earlier. Right up high. So here's that cliff. Oh yeah. Won't be able to get down there. Actually, <laughs> This other side's a bit hairy too. Wow. <laughs> I'm bugging. Well, I'm in a bit of a conundrum here. I've been following this water course down to the main river and I've come to this <laughs> waterfall, literally. Which is about ten, a 10 metre drop. Um, just got to see which way to go. I might have to head up, up that ridge and down there because this side over here is a bit too steep, I think. Jeez, I hate having to go back up. Um, you know, it's easy enough to lose height, but gaining it again is a bit of a bit of a hassle. But um, this is a, a great uh, bit of an adventure this afternoon. I changed the direction I'd go back to camp, and this is turning out to be pretty good. That sounded like a goat then. Yep. Awesome. Uh, I might be onto some goats. I'm, oh, there's that. There's one. He's just down there in this water course. Uh, where they go? They're heading down. Ah, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with them. I'm going to go back up this ridge now. Then keep an eye on them. There's three, four, five, six down in this water course, but I'm stuck with this bloody waterfall. 10 metre drop, otherwise I could just follow them down there. Good stuff.
two misses. <laughs> one too high, one too low. <sighs> Let's see if I can get the... Uh, uh, that's a shame. That's two misses. And I sat off them for at least 15 minutes and they're literally 10 metres away. This GoPro won't show how close they were. It's ultra wide angle. What a damn shame, eh? One too high, one slightly too low. I just uh, I recovered one arrow, but it's broken. And let's see if it hit. Yeah, it's gone through something, but uh, it was low, so it's probably just nicked her on the foot. So that's a Mukite broadhead, busted shaft. The other shaft went down here somewhere. Damn shame, it's slightly high. Oh man, I had a shot yesterday which was too high and I thought, you know, I'll drop the uh, drop the rest a bit, but uh, I've done the same thing again. Probably excitement, you know, I overestimate the distance. I sat off them for so long. I'm sure that Billy had sussed me. He's a big trophy class too. I'm sure he, you know, sussed me, but he, he'd stare me out for 10 minutes prep up and uh, take the shots. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess that's the, uh, the last talk of the day. It's been a good day. <sighs> what a day. I finally made it back. I just got to take my boots off and cross this weir on the river. Oh man, what an awesome day. I'm going to remember this for a while. It was, it was way better than I expected again. Shame I had a few misses, but um, you know, I got the stalks, stalks on. A lot of walking, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of case travel today, but uh, I'm going to remember this for a long time. It's not often I get to take my um, my self bow that I make and my, my uh, homemade arrows, etc. Out all my primitive kit, my Ertzi backpack I've been trying out for the past two days. It's not often I get out these days due to all the courses and stuff I'm doing with, with the ASI. So um, this is going to be one of those hunts I remember for a long time. I'm very, very happy with today. I'm just going to take these boots off and cool off in the water now. I feel like diving in.